So recently I've noticed a little uptick in people just being a little bit more gravitated towards me, if that makes sense. Like I've definitely gotten a whole lot of new clients over the past um, month and a lot of students, just a lot more pickup on my this YouTube channel and my other YouTube channel and just more people like coming up to speak to me and public in person um more dates more um i don't know just you know i guess you know your girl got something going on that a lot of people want a piece of and you know i think that i feel like actually that i just once i just turned in on myself like i was just saying in my video yesterday once i turned in on myself and started just putting all of my energy into me and fixing me instead of trying to get people to see me that was like the game changer and what i'm really talking about here is magnetism it's magnetism and it's knowing the fact that you are the only person to change like there is nothing or no one else outside of you that you need to force or that you need to pressure or that you need to beg or that you need to go out of your way to get to see you and see all that you have to offer like especially in relationships this was like a big one for me um so I used to have like this thing where I would just be like, I will always play in my head. I'm like, well, if me and a guy that I was talking to was ever getting into any issues, I would always be like, well, I feel like he, I always felt like they really did not see me as I am or how I saw myself. But then I thought about it and I was like, well, maybe because you really did not see yourself as worthy or you did not see yourself in general, like you thought you saw yourself. I was still waiting on someone else outside of me to validate me, to see me and to tell me that they see me when I should have just known the whole time that I was just the shit, honestly. So <laughs> um, once I started just, Filling up my time, you guys. This is why I talk so much about you guys having a routine and having things, having a life, actually having a life outside of people, one where you can commune with your in, your higher self or your inner, inner child or whatever you want to call it, and even spirit. Like having a life where you have a practice that you put into place or that you have certain things that you can turn to when life gets hard. This is the most imperative thing that if any of these videos like don't you know resonate with you like that at least get this out of it because i feel like this has been the most um in tune that i have ever been this is the most money that i have ever made this is the most freedom that i've ever had i've worked less and i make more and i travel more and i just feel so abundant in my overall life in my relationships and just more in flow and in just more in flow in life, you guys. Like the key really is to change no one but yourself, not seek to even change anyone but yourself. And a tip that I have is to lessen your projection on to other people. So sometimes I know we can't help but to think certain things of others. And that's only because we are being critical within ourselves and we are overly judgmental of ourselves therefore it causes us to be ju judgmental of other people and project certain thoughts onto them and you know thoughts do transfer so sometimes people don't even think a certain way about us but we assume in every little action that they do or whatever people do like we are always internalizing everything so it's hard for us to not see that life as a certain way and it will show up however you see yourself you guys life is only going to show up in the way that you see yourself if you see situations as favorable to you then life is going to give you that if you see situations as everybody's got something against you or um whatever you tell yourself then it's going to show up in that way and if it's overly negative if your negative thoughts override your positive thoughts about yourself then your life is going to be just because you're telling yourself that you are not worth the all the amazing things that you guys desire and want like you are absolutely worth all of that and 
once I just started working on changing myself into someone that I genuinely love being around, like, you guys, I have the best time by myself. Like, <laughs> I just started doing things and doing the little things that I used to do as a child that have helped me to get back into, like, just hanging out with myself and loving on myself. So, you guys, trust me when I say that there's no one to change but you. And once you change you, your reality does change. I know it, it gets repetitive hearing this, but honestly, it is the truth. If you want someone to change towards you, you have to change towards yourself. You have to see yourself as loving. You have to give yourself everything that you want them to give to you. You have to give it to yourself first because it's impossible for it to come in from someone else. And even if it does, you will not be able to hold on to it because you just don't have the capacity to have it for yourself. And once you have the capacity to have co compassion, empathy, love, kindness, harmony, all these things within yourself, it's so easy for you to have it with your relationships, your environments, your job, whoever you come in contact with. It'll just be a flow, you guys. So I hope that that helps you for a little tip today. Think about it today as you go on throughout the day. What is one thing that you would like to change about you? And what are you hoping that once you change this little thing about you or work on evolving that, what are you hoping to get in return? Like, are you hoping that other people change towards you? Are you hoping that the, your relationship with your business changes? Are you hoping your relationship with your family changes? Try it. Try it for the next 30 days and then come back in the comments and let me know how it went. So <laughs> I'll talk to you guys later. I hope you have a good one. Bye.